grand rising grand rising beautiful people how are you guys doing today on this day of worship sunday 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 fun day you know i love about crypto is that we're always open we're always trading from sun up to sundown every day a week compared to forex forex you do wait till 3 30 today and you start trading but <clears throat> before we get there i just had a I was tuning our chart and I saw some things that were very interesting. Um, I'm going to go into our monthly chart. I'm not even doing my intro or, hey, what's up? This is the Alchemist. You know what I mean? I ain't doing that. I'm just wanting to get through this. Okay. Look. Okay. You understand that volume dictates where price goes. Correct? Why? Because volume is order flow. Order flow represents if people are going long, if people are going short. Then that's not even cons taking consideration of the, ma the manipulation that market makers do. Um, we're just doing basic retail trading. Okay? So, if something is in high demand, there has to be high volume. Correct? But look at this. This represents the monthly volume. Okay. Look at the volume. It has been very, very little volume in the month wise in Bitcoin. The last actual movement, like volume, 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 volume wise, right here. And drive the price volume but even then before it went long look at the volume okay the last candle was again could that be a coincidence December 1st 2018 look at that last time well what this line represents or should represent it is a average of volume based on the price action demand giving you a projection into the future what volume could and should be so you know there is a true unmanipulated order flow hope that made sense to you guys i know i said i said a mouthful on that okay but look look at look at look at this double top okay boom M went this way that way boom so what did it do right here so people that were long back in April 1st 2001 that was an all-time high right at 64,210 okay so what it last month or October um, October November October 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 1st look what it did boom went and touched and broke the all-time high what did it do People are like, oh my god, Bitcoin going to a hundred thousand freaking dollars. It's gonna moon. So retail investors dropped their money and went long. What did it do? Fake them long, drop their ass down. Okay? Watch. You see this wicks? Wicks represent 
retail buyers, us. You know what I mean? Because you're a retail buyer if you don't have a couple hundred thousand dollars in your trading account. You know what I mean? Because it needs a lot of orders to be able to move the market. So if you're not able to manipulate or impact the market with the orders you're putting, you are a retail. You know what I mean? Um, sorry to say, you know what I mean? Like I said, there's some good of us. There's some good traders out there. You know what I mean? But if you don't have at that what that amount, you're a retail trader. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. Okay? We're going to go and check something out. Okay? So, all-time high. Fake people long. It's fake people long. Let's put this right here. We're gonna do this one at. Let's do a different color. It's faked. It's faked them long. Boom. Okay. So now we're gonna go to a line chart. Line chart. You got the high. So here's where investors, um, market makers, once they took the profit, faked them long. Boom. Decided to go short. Okay. What happened? Double top. This looks like a lot more like a double top than that one, right? Still the same thing. Okay. The price that we are going to see shortly or soon, even in the next day or so, is $43,000. Okay. This is not legal advice. This is not financial advice. At the end of the day, you need to make your own sound decision through the research that you do to invest and decide in what coins you want to do. Okay. This is just me speaking my mind, thinking out loud, understanding what I understand. Okay. Um, if you guys are seeing something incorrect or wrong, I'm open to criticism. So you guys let me know. Like I said, I'm not perfect. I'm not claiming to be. You know, I'm not these gurus that are saying do this, do that. No, I'm just a student sharing my information and looking for input from my fellow traders that are out there. That's it. You know what I mean? Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. Well, still nobody online. That's fine. Like I said, I'm just doing it for myself. So let's go into the weekly. Okay. Mm -hmm. Let's go. See, even my phone agrees with it. So again, double top. Here, we already know we're going away from this because this is our peak performance high. Means this is the end of of the cycle of the trend this on the four hour chart this is the low of the cycle okay let's go back into this okay hold on where is it okay, we're running from here. so based on the last peak performance low on the four hour the four hour three cycle represents the weekly. Okay? So, 39693 dollars will get touched. There's no ands, there's no ands, there's no ifs, there's no buts. It will get touched. Okay?
Might not be today, might not be tomorrow, might not be in a few days. But remember, that level is key. Okay? That's why I put a picture earlier where I honestly think it's going to not only is it going to test that area at 39,000. I strongly believe that 32,000, 7,000, uh, 32,778, okay, 32,895 support, last support will be touched right before we hit the mail. Like, damn, that's a big drop. That's a big drop. Okay. On the weekly, we have 19 hours more before the new candle starts. If by tomorrow I get a trigger signal, my arrows, like one of these, one of these, to go short. $33,000 Bitcoin. It's a whole lot better than trying to buy Bitcoin at 50000 60000 70000 50000 Okay? Again, I am not a financial advisor. I am not giving you financial advice. I am just giving you the outtake of what I am seeing with the tools that I have in front of me and might be sharing with you insights of where my mind and if I chose to take a trade where would I would be going okay like I said we got 19 hours before the week is over that week's out we get a new starting candle so there's gonna be some momentum start of the week as well so there's gonna be some momentum coming, okay? I'm sure with the weekly, here's a daily, boom. Okay, look at that. We already got, we already got the candle triggering up right here. Giving me a signal confirmation. This is this is my confirmation as well. Here we are. Here is the four hour candle. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, here's the daily candle. Okay, we already hit this high. Okay, we're gonna drop down. Boom. But this level right here will get tested. 41,613. It will it will get knocked off. Watch. Okay. Let's go into. Look at that on the weekly. Weekly, so you're saying run, run. A signal. Like I said, this one usually my confirmation. I I should be I should have gotten another candle in here. Oh.
Ja. Okay. Yeah, so we're waiting for a mustard and mayo, a uh, mustard and ketchup cross. So as soon as that happens, the go, well, it should be a go already, but I'm just. We just got a signal to go long. Right. Okay, you see? Double signal, boom. That's double confirmation. Go. Uh but like I said, that's only a pullback. Mm, like I said, it's only a pullback. Like I said, it was, it's just a pullback. Don't let. See, that's why. That's the reason why I treat the, the the charts the way that I do. You know what I mean? So I don't get I don't get tricked into that. Okay, we have this. Okay, we have the hour. This is a five minute. I like the five minute setup. Okay, you see the wallet. So we get the. So. Yeah, so whatever I move those lines, it moves on my chart, you see? I moved. this one the blueberry and it's gonna push back we're gonna test this okay confirmation I said not all the time okay so what else what else what else is there a currency Let's see what else do we have to share um, let's look at Solano. Let's look at Solano. Show you guys the chart. Okay, so earlier as you can see, Bitcoin weekly is uptrend, but it's turning down. That's what this green box represents, the color of the green box. Because uh, I have up, down, I mean, like I said, I, I have it tweaked out that way. Um, 
Okay, you see? Mm -hmm. On the one hour, one hour would be a good time to come in on BTC for a sale. You, know, you would look for an entry on a sale on the one hour or on the daily because it's aligned. Okay, so you can see it's an uptrend. So you're looking at a pullback. Okay, so let's look for a pullback on the. your charts however you like you know what I mean um these are just that's just something that I you know I do take time to set them up or instead of doing all these as aspects of it I already have templates set up but some of those templates have tons and tons of indicators so we're kind of just doing bare minimum bare minimum indicators so let's do what we I'm not gonna do all of them. Just gonna do basic. Okay, I'm gonna do that one. Do Great indicator. Okay. Oh, okay. So you see how it's a high, the low. Okay. So here it says the low, the low of the trend has been here. Hold on. So hold on, let me get a better start. Okay. Okay. So give me a quick, quick morning moment while the template that I we use loads up. Okay. So this is a template that I have. Yeah, cause as you can tell, I do a lot of this, this videos live, so sometimes I don't pre-record them, so I have to make sure as... So you see, this one has this little blue box. What this indicator? What it's doing, it is indicating and checking in and taking in the orders. So it's me. It's telling me that there's a lot of bank transaction going on here. Okay. So what this line right here represents, it's an equalizer, mm -hmm. a balance. So they have long they have they have long sales short sales so this is what the price the banks feel adequate to have so at so was i can this one they're selling it at 232 okay so they sold it boom okay now their next price that they see deemed to balance their book their order flow balances is 197 okay again this peak performance low has to get tested again it's part of the cycles so right now this is a low okay this is a low 
of the truck. And this high have to get tested for this coming week. Okay? So you might be able to purchase it as low as 170. What is it? 170. And take it long up to 259. Why? Because this is a this is a this is a high, this is a peak. These are peaks for it to take the trend. You see we're in a downtrend So this to continue to be able to touch is gonna have to break 200 Then 239 But look how long did it take the high you had the high in November 7th You had the low in December 7th so almost a month so I guess so I guess this is a one month cycle it took a month to go through the cycle so now they're gonna come back they're gonna come pick up this liquidity right here you see so what the system says hey this is our balance the orders are going short so it went short picked up all this liquidity boom 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 now they're gonna come back Tapped out of all this liquidity. I hope that makes sense. If you guys. Thanks brother. I really appreciate that man. I really really do appreciate that man. Like I said man. All, all we could do is share the information. The knowledge with each other. Um, Like I said. After we get the knowledge. We have to get the the understanding and the only one way we only way we can understand is by practice you know um practice and then after you get the practice you realize like hey i could be more effective if i had better tools so we try out new tools we try out new ways to trade new techniques you know what i mean um and that's the reason that's what i do you know what i mean i i I, I love to invest in knowledge, wisdom, understanding, tools. You know what I mean? So, again, souls when we get touch all this liquidity, so we come get all this liquidity. Then it's going to go long, long, baby, long. Man. At the at the end, trend wise, it's going long. Yeah, because once you set up, once you set up your indicators in the things, you're able to just that they pop up. You know what I mean? So you do have, you know, you do, if you want to customize them or just have the templates like I do. You know what I mean? So I just have your template. <coughs> I can give you an example. Like, I just open the screen, boom, boom, come in here, put up my tablet. <coughs> um, okay, so let's go into, I'm going to let that little template load up. Because I'm running a lot of indicators, self calc, uh, self calibrating indicators on that one. It takes a little bit longer to to calculate. Okay. So here we're going to go into a weekly. Okay, so 
Another reason why I'm showing you guys live as well, cause you know you're able to see how fast things can get done once once you get a hang of the system. You know you're able to be in and out. Okay, so weekly case that was close. So ADA Cardano. Thirty minutes. So here, in the thirty minutes, we're gonna get a pullback. We're gonna get a pullback up to right here. There's some liquidity in the five minute. Look at that. You see? Let's see how it's gonna come pick up this. You see how it's gonna come touch, touch and balance its books. So it'll fly. See how it's uh, and it's already been retested. How cool is that? It's pretty cool, huh? But like I said, you don't ha you don't have to get stuck on the computer. Um, like I said, you have the right indicators. This sends me actual um, screenshots. I wish I could show you from my phone. I need to kind of show. I need to get on the phone and learn how to be able to mirror my phone on the on the laptop. But yeah, when whenever we get signals confirmations, we get not only do we get screenshot of the charts you know what I mean that that's why I set up the chart that's why I take time to set up the charts that I trade you know what I mean like I said right now there's some charts that I don't that I have to set up the chart the indicators but I don't trade that so I really don't want to waste my time on, that, on some of those but yeah, so I just do that. Boom. So yeah, so 
what the scanner is doing is scanning trend direction it is trending volume it is tracking direction of candles opens close mm -hmm. fucking it's also tracking moving averages uh yeah moving average crosses you know what i mean like and 30 cardano because we know it touched the first spot right here okay it's gonna read so here's down test the fifth the water the hour drop and then test again and then drop test again drop and then boom break out okay okay what else what else if there's a pair you guys want, want me to, to go over with you guys or ran on, let me know. If not, oh, Ethereum. Yeah, let's do Ethereum. Let's do Ethereum. ETH. So here, because I don't want to take my time and do all the indicators, let's do this. Ethereum, where is it? ETH daily is down. So let's do daily. 15. H1. Okay, so here I'm going to do my template. So that's simpler, quicker, faster. But you, but you see how you're able to just be in and out trades. You don't have to be sitting in front of a trade. Um, you could actually have, you could even add the one minute and the monthly as well. There is a a setting. I I do have a scanner setting for that um, when I'm taking longer trades. You know what I mean? So you see how having the daily indicator right here makes it so much easier. Because I would have seen this candle right here. And I would have jumped in like, oh, fuck yeah. It's going down. It's going down. And then it would have fucking retraced and I would have been screwed. Look at that. Look at that. Here's the price action. It's telling me, no, don't go long. Don't go short. Volume's coming in. Look at that. Volumes coming in. Biting orders are coming in. Look at the blue box. Okay, here's your double top. Boom. Pull back. Boom. Okay, so it's going to be some buying power. They're going to come back. Get this because people went short. It's going to come back and liquidate all this right here. Come back up to right here. And then, boom. Then it'll go. Because we have to. Because you have to come pick up this liquidity, you see. So here, on the daily, people are 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 long on Ethereum, but it already came and tapped out all the liquidity. Look at all these orders. <laughs> then push back up. Here. And the next candle starts. Okay, it took all went down all the way up to three thousand four hundred forty-three, and then the next candle starts at four thousand. So there's six hundred dollars right here sitting that they will come back for. Okay. Ah, uh, so look at that. So we have 238 minutes to
the trend went up. Okay, so here we have an alley wave indicator. Come on. Can you guys see my charts? If you can, please um, put, put a like or a thumbs up. Because I can't see. It seems like on my side, the. Seems like on my side, it froze. Okay, there you go. Okay. So you guys could tell I have tons and tons of indicators on this one. Okay. So Okay, sorry about that. I was just trying to get that out the way for some reason that indicator's not triggering. Okay. Anyways. So here you have the LA with which A B C. So here then we have the two hundred the male. You have uh, outside extension. So I would be, if I was going to go, I would be going short on this. Based on the retail method. Okay. Yeah. See, it, see, it shows on my, on your guys' end. On the, on the. Okay. Anyways, um, so yeah, so as you could tell, here's the high of it. Here's a daily of the look at that. So today, the daily started. The highest of the day is forty, well, forty two hundred fifty one. 4,251 the low today is 4,030 okay um, having the indicators that quick you'll know if you want to be buying because I personally wouldn't buy getting to this peak high of close to 4,200 so obviously every 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 um, rise every every extension every rally that it has here up instead of buying i'm just gonna be i would be in ethereum you know so with that being said let me know and we'll get you taken care of so, peace, love, and abundance be upon y'all. It's your God-given right. So, execute it.